Let's make Afghani samosas. 50 to grams of minced beef keema, 3 potatoes, 5 chopped spring onions, 3 green chilies, green coriander, 2 onions, dumpling sheet, 1 tablespoon of garlic paste, a quarter of a cup of oil, 1 cup of water, 1 tablespoon salt, 1 tablespoon of red chili, half tablespoon of crushed red chili, half teaspoon of turmeric, 1 teaspoon of black pepper, 1 teaspoon of garam masala, half teaspoon of karam seeds ajwam. In a pot, pour the cup of water. Pour the minced beef keema into the pot. Stir well, until the water lessens. Now the minced meat keema has absorbed most of the water. Now add your a quarter cup of oil. Add in the chopped onions. Mix well. Now put in one tablespoon of garlic paste. Again, mix well. Now dump all the spices into the pot. Mix it all up. Now add in your green chili. Mix it for another two minutes. After you're done mixing, we can start on the next step. In a separate pot, fill in the water and put your potatoes inside. Let it boil until it becomes soft. After the potatoes are done boiling, mash them up. Sprinkle in the spring onions. Sprinkle in the green coriander as well. Pour half a teaspoon of salt. Now finish it off with your minced meat keema. Mix it well all together. Now grab your dumpling sheets. Now for the next step, get a cup of water with a basting brush. Brush the dumpling sheet gently with water. Now place the keema mixture onto the sheet. Make sure not to overfill it. Now start from the sides and gently wrap it. It should look like a triangle. In this sheet I can make 48 samosas. For the next step, we are deep frying the samosas. Pour in oil into a pan. Carefully place samosas into the pan one by one. Make sure to flip both sides and fry until it becomes golden brown. I'm using a strainer to strain the oil out. The Afghani samosas are ready to be served. Look how crispy and tender it is. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Slice of Desi.